Welcome to Theory of Pets. I'm a passionate pet owner with a drive to help others like me uncover the truth about the pet industry and what goes on behind the scenes. The use of cannabis for medicinal purposes has been gaining a lot of attention recently in both the human and canine fields. It's something that I uh, have looked into as a treatment for some of my own animals. There really is a lot more to it than people think. I think Most people uh, look at it as coming from the marijuana plant, which uh, puts some people off. One thing to note about uh, CBD, cannabidiol, um, products that are infused with CBD is that they are derived from the hemp plant, but they have no psychoactive properties. CBD is a completely natural substance, it's a natural treatment. So when you think of things like um, side effects, you know, you don't have to worry about those things with CBD, which you do have to worry about with prescription and over-the-counter medications. Um, Obviously, this treatment hasn't been around for a lengthy period of time. So there's a lot of research being done right now on its effects. Uh, Not all veterinarians or um, even and human doctors are interested in even exploring this treatment right now um, because it is new and it is quite controversial. So if it's a treatment that you're thinking about for your pets, there's really a lot of research to be done and you need to make sure that you're educating yourself on um, CBD, what it does, what the benefits are, um, also on the types of CBD products that are available, what would best suit your pet's needs, um, and then how the the products are created. As with everything, especially in the medical field, there are different grades, um, different formulas. There's different ways of extracting the CBD from the plant, which affects um, how well it works and how effective it is. Um, So there's really a lot to it. It's not something that you should just jump into and say, oh, I'm going to try you know, CBD treats for my dog or a tincture for my cat. Um, it, it, it's something to really educate yourself about. Today, I had the pleasure of working with a company called Petness. They are a New York-based company company. Um, It's a newly launched brand of CBD infused treats for dogs and tinctures for dogs and cats. Um, They do focus on making their products with organically grown non-GMO ingredients, human grade, full spectrum hemp oil. Um, So we'll talk a little bit about uh, that and um, the different products that they make and how they can help. I was able to speak with uh, Jeremy Feldman, who is the co-founder of Petness and Um, the other co-founder, who is David Nichols, Um, and they give us some information, not just about the company, but about CBD for pets, uh, how you can use it, the benefits uh, of it, and most importantly, what pet owners should be looking for when you're shopping for or starting to look into CBD products for your pets. Hi, Samantha. My name is Jeremy. um, I'm the founder of Petness. I've been in the pet industry for about um, 20 years. I started out as a professional dog groomer and then made my way into dog training. Um, after that, I was uh, owned several pet grooming and dog training businesses and then moved to New York City and opened a business called Pet Yen, which connects pet owners to service providers. Um, and then after quite a while and then... Um, David and I started Petness, which is um, this fantastic company um, that's CBD-infused pet treats, which is what we're talking about today. So that's a little bit about me, and uh, David just walked in. Hello. I will introduce you to David. So I come from more of the um, consumer products goods world. I was in the sportswear industry with a company called K-Swiss for many years, Um, and when Jeremy told me... uh, he was starting to really do more research and experimenting with um, all the benefits that uh, dogs uh, can have by uh, having these treats. I got excited and um, 
kind of try to put some of the more branding kind of business strategy pieces to it to complement uh, the fine products he's developed. And Jeremy, was there a reason that you got into CBD for pets? Yeah, actually, um, throughout throughout my career, uh, you know, one of the things that has really been heartbreaking is seeing pets that were suffering from from various illnesses, and the only option that they had was pharmaceuticals that often came with a lot of. Um, um, uh, Issues like prednisone and steroids. Dogs um, were getting sick. They were losing their hair. They were having a lot of um, internal issues. And when CBD started to become more prevalent, when they started to um, legalize in California, and we really were able to get enough CBD and put it into pet treats and see really what the results were, we started to see that dogs were just rebounding so much quicker from these, you know, whether it was anxiety or whether it was um, arthritic or whether it was an internal issue, the CBD was just doing a, a, a lot more beneficial without the bad side effects. And that's really what, what drew me to the product and to developing and working with um, dogs and, and introducing them to CBD and seeing the results. And that that's what really started me on the journey. And talking about developing the CBD, there's um, different qualities, I guess you could say, of, of um, CBD for dogs and, and the oils. Can you talk a little bit about what pet owners should be looking for when they're looking into CBD for their pet? Oh, absolutely. So um, in our products, we first use um, all organic, full spectrum or broad spectrum hemp oil, which is... Um, hemp oil that also has all of the natural cannabinoids and um, flavonoids and terrapins that um, that are present in the plant. And when they um, use the CO2 extraction, these, these different sub substances stay in with the CBD and they form what is called the entourage effect, which means that they work synergistically with the CBD to give uh, provide a way more potent result than just the CBD by itself, the isolate. The isolate. So we recommend that um, pet owners who are interested in trying CBD, they look for um, a full spectrum or broad spectrum CBD that still has all of the uh, the natural um, substances, the flavonoids and the cannabinoids that that are present in the hemp plant. Perfect. And when you're looking for CBD products, obviously there's different things like the infused treats, um, the oil itself. What are the differences between those products? Oh, good question. So um, we have we have three different treats in our line, and and I'll describe them, and that will help overall you overall understand the, what's the best delivery system. So we have a soft duo. And the nice thing about soft chews when you work with CBD is you can add different botanicals into the tree um, to add to the effect. So, for instance, if you're looking for mobility, we can add MSM, we can add glucosamine, we can add turmeric, um, milk thistle. So, um, with uh, CBD, CBD and a soft chew, um, that gives you that opportunity to add botanicals for a synergistic um, effect. Now, there's also um, CBD oil or tincture. And the nice thing about an oil or a tincture is that you can really adjust the dosage specifically for your pet. So our soft chew treats have four milligrams of CBD per treat. So perhaps you're interested in Maybe a bigger dose of CBD if that has a more serious issue or you don't find that the four milligrams are being, is effective enough. With the tinctures, you can really adjust. You can microdose throughout the day. You can add um, maybe it's, a, it's a something that is a specific and nervous um, situation, like a thunderstorm, a car ride, that visit. You really want to make sure that your dog has enough CBD to get through that event. That's a great reason to have the tincture. 
Um, and we also have a baked biscuit, and that's another great way to deliver CBD. And with a baked biscuit, we can't add the, the different botanicals because it goes through a cooking process. But with a baked biscuit, it allows you to give a treat at all times of the day. You can keep a biscuit in your car. You can keep a biscuit in your pocket. And whenever you feel like your dog needs a little extra dose of CBD, you can just throw them a biscuit, and that's a great delivery system as well. So um, we recommend d- deciding what your dog needs and then buying a CBD product based on that. You touched just lately on um, the anxiety issues that CBD can help with, like thunderstorms, vet visits, car rides, that kind of stuff. What are some of the other things that pet owners might be interested in using CBD to treat in a natural way instead of prescription medications? Yep. So um, aside from anxiety, absolutely the biggest category is inflammation, joint pain, joint protection, arthritis, anything that has to do with the dog experiencing pain um, in the bones, in the joints, um, nerves, CBD. Um, The CBD2 is one of the main CBD receptors, and that specifically targets um, those areas. Uh, the CBD1 is a it targets the brain, and that's our inner cannabinoid system. Um, and CBD1 is brain specific. CBD2 is specific to the immune system, to joints, to bones, to organs, to cells, and that's really another way a pet owner can use CBD. Um, for pain, for inflammation, for joint protection. Are veterinarians big on recommending CBD or is it kind of something that's still growing in the industry? In California, um, up until I think just recently, the last few weeks or so, uh, veterinarians were not allowed to discuss it with their patients. And could they, their, their doctor standing would be in jeopardy through the veterinarian board. Um, but I think that's just what most recently changed. So all the momentum is going where veterinarians are getting more involved in testing and doing more research. Um, and just as, you know, the hemp bill really helped with that to kind of a, first allow veterinarians to legally discuss it with a lot of their uh, patients, et cetera. Yeah, That's I think, great for California. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, uh, as, as, as the times are changing, vets are definitely becoming more open to discussing it with their patients. And I think one of the main things is that, unlike um, a lot of the pharmaceuticals, you, you can't overdose on CBD. And there's, there, there hasn't been a case yet where a pet has taken too much CBD and has, and has had serious negative effects. So it's a very safe and it's effective, and it's also very safe, so vets are feeling more and more confident on recommending it to their patients. Um, there's very little um, side effects. Some dogs don't react um, and don't have um, the great effects that other dogs get from it, but no dogs yet have had bad effects. So that's something that I think is important, and vets, and vets are finding to be uh, confident when they when they start recommending CBD. You know, when you were talking about your um, your intro- during your introduction, you mentioned that you had, or, or early on in the conversation, you mentioned about how um, the in your experience of being a dog trainer and so forth, and finding healthy products for that were effective. I mean, can you speak to some of that as well? Um, in the context of what of what what she was asking, well, it's just that, that I'm chiming in. He's asking Jeremy, but just it wasn't this type of product available before, right? And really, you know, this is a, you know a pioneering process, yeah. You know, and everybody's kind of catching up and learning. Um, but it is all natural, you know, harmless stuff that's been tested on humans for a long time. Sure. Um, and you know, the endocannabinoid system of the animals to so mirror that of the humans. And yeah, I think it's actually only since the 1980s that we even understood the endocannabinoid system in humans and animals to mirror yeah. after that. Yeah. So okay. um, so the science is catching up. And, and, and it just wasn't available for you, for people to, to I mean, it, 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 you, you weren't allowed to research, weren't allowed to research <laughs> it. You weren't allowed to process it. You, it, wasn't avail, it wasn't available for um, 
for us to, to have all of these, these epiphanies once we tried it with our pack and started seeing the results. And once it became available and people started taking that first step, it was one of those, like, holy shit moments. This, this, stuff, is, this stuff is great. Yeah. You have a, cal- a dog with anxiety gets calmer after having it. Yeah, a dog that was limping last week, this week is, you know, running like the wind. And, and you know, and before that was a trip to the vet, which was $60, blood test, Another eighty dollars, and then some expensive drugs, pre- prednisone or some sort of steroid, and then it was a, a re trip to the vet. That was what it took, you know, if your dog had an issue and, and you wanted to treat it. But now we have CBD, where you know you can at least try it and see if you can get the beneficial results before you have to take that step. Which um, which is uh, great for pet owners, and I think uh, dogs are just benefiting left and right because before, you know, oh, I'll wait it out. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I have to go to the vet. It's just you know, all of that stuff. Dogs suffer through that terribly. But now there's a way that dogs can, you know, find relief in, in ways that they haven't been able to find relief before. Which I think is one of the things that drew me to to CBD and you know the whole the whole situation. And this is a good time to mention too. There's a lot of research currently being done on CBD for for humans and animals. Yeah, I mean, yeah, now, yeah the doors are open. The farm bill has passed, and now the companies are, you know, willing to to take that step. Before it was, you know. You took that step, and you can go out of business. But now there's a market for it, and companies are seeing that you know there's money to be made. And when that happens, then you get great research and you get great you know innovation. So that's what's happening now. It's just the tip of the sword, really. But um, you know, once there's a market and people are interested, and then the ball starts rolling, which is where we're at now. Where Absolutely. It's kind of an exciting market to be in, um, to, you know, to watch that research and, and see it develop. It seems like almost, you know, every few days we're just hearing new things. And um, I mean, so far it seems like everything's really positive, which is so great compared to most of the treatments that we see in the medical field. Uh, you know, you get that little 30 seconds of the benefits and then there's like two minutes long commercial of all the side effects and and negative things that can come with it so it's kind of neat to see something come through that really is all positive so far uh, absolutely and that's what that's what's driving the innovation is that there's very little risk involved for the for the pets so we, we can we can really reach reach a lot of animals without having to worry about you know hurting any animals and that's very important and and one of the most common questions that I'm asked, and I'm sure you guys get it a lot too, um, when people obviously hear hemp oil and CBD, um, they wonder if it's going to make their dog high and have those psychoactive effects. But these products absolutely do not do that, correct? Yes. Um, all, all of our products have less than 0.003% THC. Um, that's in our full spectrum. In our broad spectrum, there's zero THC, which means that you can take as much of this product all day and not receive any sort of psychoactive effect. The CBD that's in the hemp plant and um, the CBD that's in a cannabis plant um, are, are very different. So in the cannabis plant, you'll find a high high amount of THC, a low amount of CBD in a, in a hemp plant. It's extremely high amounts of CBD and extremely low amount, to almost a minute amount of THC. THC is a psychoactive component of cannabis that will get you high, and it's just not present in any of our products. So our products are non-intoxicating in any way. Perfect. And do you guys have any other tips for pet owners that – you know, might be considering CBD for their dogs or maybe starting um, to look for products that would be good for a good fit for their pet? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think they should try fitness, but they should certainly stick with products that are made in the USA, that are, that are, um, I, I, one of the biggest things is the testing. 
So if you if you would like to to make a note on our site, we we do batch testing. So all of our products go to a third party testing facility where they test for um you know they test the CVD, they test the product for um, metals, for potency, for all of the different molds and yeast and everything like that, and we post that on our website. So it's very transparent. Um, and anyone that is interested in buying a CBD product, whether it's Petnus or from another company, they should be sure that they can find all of that testing on the website and that there's a lot of transparency so they can see exactly um, the CBD that's going into the different treats and all of the different um, variables that they test for and make sure that it's good, clean stuff. Right. And if a company is willing to be transparent with their product and show exactly what's inside, probably means that they're a good company and that they're trustworthy. Using good good ingredients. Yeah. I think that's the other thing is, is see what people are mixing with the CBDs. So in um, the majority of our soft um, shoes, again, as Jeremy described, they're really formulated for function. And this is a proprietary recipe that we made to achieve these greater results and really supercharge the endocannabinoid system beyond just what CBD would do. So for the case of the mobility, having uh, turmeric or whistle bark, or the case of the calm, also having um, valerian root or chamomile and, um, and, and things like that. So really looking at all the ingredients um, beyond just what the oil is. Did you guys have any other tips for our listeners or any other information on pet nest that you wanted to share uh, before I stop recording today? Yeah, on, on our website, we have, you know, a lot of uh, FAQs on how uh, to do it. Um, our uh, Instagram has examples of how to use the tincture. So there's really some clear, like, how-tos beyond, you know, with the tincture, it's a little more uh, people might not be as comfortable with an eyedropper versus a, a treat. But um, what we actually tried to do was, was make it very easy to use. Very accessible. They're in nice bags that we seal to, for moisture. Um, so, you know, obviously, you know, taking care of the treats, the soft treats, don't leave them in the sun, little things like that um, to get the most effectiveness out of them. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we tried to make it an easy product to use and interact with. Yes, and speaking of your website, for anybody that's listening and wants to check that out, there's a link just below the podcast for that. Um, and I also wanted to mention your blog because you guys have a really great blog on there filled with information if people are um, kind of new to CBD and pets and the industry. Um, it's a great place to start. Uh, there is information kind of on CBD for pets in general and then some more specific uh, stuff if you're, you know, your pet has a certain condition that you're looking for information on. So uh, it's a really great resource. And again, that link uh, is right underneath the, the podcast for anybody that wants to check that out. Fitness.com. Yes. So for anybody that wants to check out that website, again, it's right under the podcast. And a huge thank you to the team from Pet Nest for coming on today and giving us some really beneficial information about CBD for our pets and how to choose the right products for your dog or cat. If you have any other questions, feel free to jump on our website, theoryofpets.com. Uh, you can send any questions in there. You can record your comments for use uh, on future podcasts if you want to be a part of uh, a future podcast, you can certainly send me any topics that you would like some more information on. I will try and reach out to an expert in the industry and see if I can get those questions answered. Chances are, if you've got questions about your pets, other pet owners are asking themselves the same questions. So uh, that's what Theory of Pets is all about. Uh, pet owners coming together and, you know, getting our questions answered and figuring out, you know, the behind the scenes stuff in the pet industry, what we need to know and how we can make uh, things the best possible for our pets. So um, if you have any questions, again, jump on our website, theoryofpets.com. While you're there, if you could leave a quick review, that always helps me to um, draw in guests that I'd like to speak with. So uh, that it would be great. And it only takes a couple of minutes. I appreciate you guys listening and I will be back with another hot topic very soon.